it's Steve Brady and this is uh, Malcolm Duncan. Would it be true, Malcolm, to say that until this moment in time we've never met before? No, that would be an absolute falsehood, Steve. It would, yes, because we go back a long way, don't we? Just, just almost three decades now. I feel a little bit like um, Morgan and Wise here. You know, yes. my, my name's Steve and this is Malcolm. It's good night for me. It's good night, good night for me. It'll be good night for everybody. <laughs> now, actually, talking about good nights, you're going to be doing some stuff at Wondrous later in the week, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, yes. You see that little kind of imperceptible. See, that's the, it's the liver puddly inability to make any kind of connection between two bits of information that make no sense. Uh, exactly. <laughs> I've been doing that all my life. I've been listening to you preaching for years, I know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I want to tell you, Malcolm, I've been insulted by far better people than you. <laughs> and, and far better places than this. In fact, I've been insulted in some salubrious places. <laughs> but I know it's been a great privilege for you to know me all these years. <laughs> so, so what has been outstanding about that experience for you? <laughs> I wouldn't give him the word to start. I think, I think after I've seen my therapist, I might be able to have a good <laughs> 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 but we do go back a long way to those wonderful days uh, in, in Bournemouth. Yes. Yeah, you came to live by the seaside. You were in Lansdowne and I was in uh, Springbourne. Yeah. And uh, all that God was doing in those days was yeah, really great. It was great. exciting. And then, of course, you got the call and off you went to do other things and eventually ended, ended up at Gold Hill Baptist yeah. Church. Uh, and you spoke at my induction. I, I know, and I, I'm still waiting for the expenses, but that's another <laughs> issue. It <laughs> we, was a privilege. We paid by the hour. Yeah, yeah but the commission did it, so it wasn't that great. We didn't pay for the first hour. <laughs> So I'm, I'm at Wondrous this week, um, speaking in the evenings on Thursday night and Friday night, and I'm really looking forward to unpacking the Imagine theme around the idea of helping people to see that the future that lies in front of us as a church is positive and hopeful, but to a large extent it depends on the choices that we make yes. today, choices about obedience, choices about pursuing faithfulness yes. and putting faithfulness to Christ above popularity. Yes. And I also one night want to think about uh, the call upon the church in the United Kingdom to be right with God. There's an yes. awful lot going on around us that yes. is wrong. That's, that's right. And I want us to imagine what happens if we continue on the trajectory that we have, because it isn't a good one. Yes. And there's a need for a call to get right with Him in repentance and then to allow Him to fill us afresh to do something that uh, will be remarkable, really. Yes. So I'm hoping that the days will be faith filled, encouraging, inspiring, rooted in Scripture but that there will be a kind of clarion call to the people of God in Ireland to be faithful to what God's called them to do. Yes. And you're doing the Bible studies? Each morning through the Book of Acts, which is really exciting, uh, because often we think, oh, the wonderful good old days of the church. And Acts, and there was never a golden age, and Acts themselves are honest about the failures of Christians, where they get it wrong, where, where they fall out, um, where some folk do despicable things, like even lying to the Holy Spirit. And yet, this was a church that survived because ultimately they stayed in touch with Christ despite all the ins and outs and ups and downs. So I'm trying to imagine a church worth joining, issues like that, and uh, priorities worth keeping, and just the gospel worth sharing. There's an old song that says, everybody seems to have a cause for which to speak. Loudly from the rooftops, they proclaim the thing they seek, often for a needless cause, often to deceive. Should not we know the Lord declare what we believe? And too many Christians, are, I think, are frozen at the mouth, like the waters that flow into the Arctic. And we need to stand up and speak up, because Jesus really is worth it. And for me, Wondrous is really about the people of God catching a glimpse of who He is and what He can do. Amen. It's not just about stroking each other's ego, it's not just about gathering and having a good time, it's being reminded that the Gospel works, that God is still on the throne, and Amen. that the Church still has a job to do on this island and uh, I think this is one of the best events in Ireland. No, it's great and it's such a privilege to be here, I really mean that it's a, it's a joy to be here again after a couple of years. So we, having started as Anton Deck or, or Morgan and Wise, yeah. you should really end as the good uh, the two Romneys. So it's a good night from me. And it's a good night from him. Good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs>